All right, so y'all here in, in Atlanta for good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what brought you to, now you're, you're from Atlanta, but why move to Chicago? Um, well, when I was um, like a lot younger, like a while ago when I was a lot younger, my mom wanted to move to Chicago once. We went to go visit my granddad, mm -hmm. and she liked it out there, so we stayed, and then we just stayed out there. Right. And then she got married, so that's where we was at. Okay, so you, it just you, came, it just started to be like home. Right, and then you moved back recently mm -hmm. because like, of yeah, music or just because family um, issues? Yeah, just because of family issues. And then once I was down here for a minute, um, once my mom started like really, really getting into music and stuff, that's what made me want to get into it. So your mom does music. My mom, yeah, she's my she's my management, but she was managing my sister before, right. and I still just want to do music and stuff. But I wasn't like I wasn't one hundred percent sure like how I wanted to approach it, you know what I'm saying? I always knew I wanted to do it, I just wasn't 100% sure. And then once I figured out how I wanted to like approach it, that's when right. stuff just started coming together. So is your mom was like, she real successful with music? Or? Um, I would say she is. Okay, you don't like <laughs> speaking on her? I mean, I'm just saying, I don't know. It's, it, it might depend on who you ask, but I would say she's great at what she does. Right, 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 mm -hmm. okay. So, okay, so y'all moved back to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Was you rapping in school? Or was I wasn't you like even rapping. I was actually like homeschooled because I moved down here with my dad. I was just telling this story, it's crazy. I moved down with my dad and I was like depressed. My mom moved down here too, but I was living with my dad. My mom was, um, you know, like I was just managing my sister and stuff. So I was like depressed. Like I didn't really want to live with my dad. I just wanted to live with my mom because like I grew up with my mom and all my sisters and my brothers. So then we moved. It was kind of weird to me. So I just used to be like come get me, like yeah. this is bad. Like, not so bad, because I love my dad on my heart, but it was just like, I didn't want to live with my mom, so then I moved back with my mom, and then maybe like a little later, I'll start doing music. But okay. I was homeschooled, so right. I really wasn't like freestyling. I wasn't rapping in school or nothing, it was like. So you never went to a public school at all? I did, actually, um, before, okay. I came to Atlanta in seventh grade, and then I went, left for, Christmas break and never came back. Right. And then it was home. I was homeschooled for seventh to eighth grade. Then I went back to school. Cause at first I was acting and all that, and I just I just got out got out of touch with that. Right. Okay. So after eighth grade, that's when you started doing the private, right? Yeah. Okay. So did you graduate school, or are you still in school? I'm still in school. Okay. You don't like to reveal your age or nothing? Uh, I don't like it. Okay. Nobody gonna know okay. my age. Nobody gonna know. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, so when I first discovered you, it was kind of like you was already bubbling. Like your Instagram mm -hmm. was going crazy. Um, you was already signed to Epic right. Records. Um, how did all that come about? So, okay, basically my mom had met Chubby Baby and they was at a bowling alley or somewhere like that at this event. And he was like, yo, I can get Cody in from LA Reed. And we was just like, all right, bro, do it. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, mm -hmm. who just says that and is just gonna believe it, you know? So then like a few days later, I went to the showcase at Patchwork. At Patchwork and um, yeah, I didn't even know LA was gonna be there. So when I found out he was there, it was kind of crazy. And then I just went in there and um, played some of my records, played video or two, and then yeah, they just loved it. So did you already have a buzz before he discovered you? Or not um, really? I would say I was always popping in my own right <laughs> but I mean yeah yeah I feel like not it, it it wasn't as crazy as it was now but I feel like I was building my momentum because right. I go on your Instagram and you get like all these likes and all these comments like that just it, happened it, like that just happened yeah I ain't had no I had like 10k last year right, right, right. Like, so you, you speak on your mom a lot mm -hmm. you don't like really no, I love her. Letting the people know exactly who she is? Ha ha, because she's behind them scenes. Right, okay. So you don't <laughs> like speaking on that. You know yeah, who she is. I don't like doing too much about it, you yeah. know? Right, Do you, are, there, are there people out here that feel like, well, you dang, well, she's only doing this because her mom? Do you get that kind of flat? No, because it's not like my mom is like a rapper or like a singer. and It's not like I got the upper hand or anything. It's like I'm working just as hard as anybody else. You know yeah, what I'm trying sure. to say? It's not like... She sold a million records before, so they just gonna be like, you gonna sell a million records, you know what I'm saying? No, right. they're doubting me just like they're doubting anybody right. else. Now, when I first posted you on my blog, um, I posted the video, the drip from my walk, mm -hmm. I think, and you got a lot of flack. <laughs> Super. You got a lot of flack. Super. And I, and I DM'd Thank you. you for that. Right, I DM'd, I DM'd you, and I was like, you know, don't don't listen to it. Yeah. This, you know what I'm saying? This, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And you was like, cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, a lot of people felt like you you sounded like famous Dex and Uzi uh -huh. and and all those people. Like explain that record. 
Exactly. I'm about to explain that record right now. This is funny. Get up out your bed, right? And brush your teeth. And then go in your living room where you got a little setup at and have this beat. Dun, 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 dun. And you're just like, I got that drum on my wall. Yeah. And you're like, man, that's how fast. So you just keep doing it. You know what I'm trying to say? It's not like you on Twitter. Oh, bro, you heard this new deck song, bro. This shit hard. I'm about to go in the studio and make one just like this. Just beat that guy up, make it a little candy. You know what I'm trying to say? It wasn't like that. It was pure, like, just energy, just what it was. Like, it was never like, oh, I'm copying off decks and I'm about to put it out and get a campaign off of it. You know what I'm trying to say? Never. It was never that. I don't want to be like them guys. If 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 anybody says I, this is my real opinion. This is what I always say. If anybody says I sound like Uzi or I sound like Dex, they've only heard one song from me. So I don't even. You haven't even really heard enough to form a real opinion about me. You just mm -hmm. talking. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You just going. You just. You just talking. <laughs> and then from the outside looking in, it seems like you have a relationship with those guys. Yeah, I have a relationship with both of them. Uzi's my guy. Dex is my guy. So it's mm -hmm. like I'm not trying to. When I'm gonna copy off them, like I, they, I rock with them, they cool, but I, I wanna, I wanna be me. <laughs> okay, so shortly after that, you released the tape, mm -hmm. and um, I seen when you, you know, Lil Yachty kind of co-signed that losing service. Oh boy, record. did it blow up because of the, the co-sign, or was it like people were organic? <laughs> you tell me. I mean, I don't think it blew up because of the co-sign. I think it's, just, I think it's going because it's just a good record. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's got a good energy to it, but I mean, yeah. Maybe I don't know. That's my. When you record, was you when you was in the studio recording it? Did you know that was the one, or was it just like was just a normal record? It was just a, it was just like uh, we was um, making stuff for Little Rocket tape. So once we did it, I pretty much knew that that would go on there, but I didn't think it was going like people was gonna love it as much as they do, you know, yeah. like in different states and stuff, because they be rocking with that. Right. In this day and age of hip hop, it's kind of like a lot of. The Atlanta, a lot of the artists, the turn up artists, you know, the rock star artists, mm -hmm. um, a lot of artists that don't have a lot of lyrical content, y'all, y'all seem to get bashed by the hip hop heads. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying on what's hip hop, what's not hip hop. Um, what is your take on on that? When people feel like you know, a lot of stuff you put out isn't exactly hip hop. Um, I feel like I don't have to be. I don't. I'm not even aiming to be hip hop. You know what I'm trying to say? Like. Like, I love rapping, and that's great, but I I'm, I just want to make, I feel like it's bigger than that. I'm looking at a bigger picture. Like, I want to make music in general. I don't care if you don't like it, number one. Number two, I don't care if it's trendy. You know what I'm trying to say? I just want to make music that I will listen to or music that my, you know, like, music that I like. I don't really care if it's going to get any, like, recognition or anything. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to be no rapper, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make five music. And yeah, they keep it moving. People right. just don't. People just so bored, so they just be saying anything that comes to their mind. I think just to get it right. When I posted the first video, um, the drip from my wall mm -hmm. on the blog, did it get under your skin reading the comments? Cause you did tweet about it. You, you I, know, I started ranting about yeah. it like once. I ran it about it once. At first, see, okay, it was so new to me. Cause I, I had around that time I had really just started getting back on Twitter, so it was just like. They are going hard. Yeah, you know Twitter, what I'm saying? Twitter, Twitter goes hard. Yeah, Twitter, Twitter. The worst Instagram. But like, um, actually, like, it never really makes me mad. It really just makes me laugh and be like, y'all are bored. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I can never let that stuff really get me mad because they really don't know me. And chances are, if they met me, they would be like, oh, my face. So it's kind of just like, you just got to be cool to yeah. read it. And I don't even really read it like that no more. I, can't, I don't even get to see it as much. You know what I'm saying? It's moving a lot faster now. But I used to see it and just be like, y'all are bored. Thank <laughs> you.